All right, guys, the third episode of this full week of working out series where I'm actually going to get you guys through my entire week of training, all workouts, all exercises, all reps, and all sets. If you guys haven't watched the first episode where I actually go through my entire training split, make sure to do so because it will give you a much more general idea of my entire training splits. But today is going to be the third episode, aka going through my first pull day of this week. Today is going to be my heavy pull workout for this week where I'm actually going to go a little bit low reps compared to the second pull workout. Still training for the one arm pull up and the weighted pull up so let's dive right into today's video before every single workout i'm actually going to do a full warm but i'm actually going to make a full video on that after the entire series so stay tuned for that video but for now let's dive right into today's workouts like every single workout i will always start with some skill training aka two blocks of 10 minutes working on two different skills today is going to be a pull workout so we'll start off with some front level training the way that i'm currently doing this is pretty much do one straddle front level hold directly followed by one assisted straddle front level holds. I'm going to do the straddle and the assisted straddle back to back followed by a bit of rest and I'm going to do this about three times and then after those three sets we're going to be doing one more set of one easier variation which tends to be the advanced tuck hold and just like my plank training I pretty much started using bands as from this training block and I find it quite beneficial because it pretty much allows me to stay a lot longer in a position and also allows me to work a little bit more on my technique aka my hip placement because definitely as you guys can see on the full body weight front lever is definitely an area that I have to work on. And if it comes to my front level training, I feel like the straddle definitely is getting there. However, it's going to take a little bit of time to kind of clean up my form. And so the goal now is to get a clean straddle front lever before actually going for the full front lever. It definitely is going to take a while before I've actually cleaned up my entire straddle front lever. But yeah, hopefully in a matter of a couple of months, we will actually be able to go for the full front lever. And then after my front lever training, I'm going to go right into some handset and some planche training. As you guys saw in the first episode, I'm going to be training for planche and handset about four times a week these days on every single upper body session. On my push day, as you guys saw in the previous video, I actually do quite hard variations. On my pull days, I'm going to be doing some easier variations to pretty much get more time on the tension. And it's mainly going to be technique work, which is kind of the boring part of the planche training, but definitely is very, very important and never should be done whenever you're training for planche it is a part of planche training that i definitely skipped initially but like now i'm really starting to see the importance of it and i definitely feel like the carryover from doing this to my full planche holds is definitely quite substantial so if it comes to my planche training i'm going to be doing some leans followed by some dynamic exercises pretty much to kind of really strengthen the wrist and the shoulders as well as focusing on my full body tension and my glute activations which once again is carrying over nicely to my full planche holds and if it comes to my handstand training I'm going to be doing some wall handstand holds this pretty much is kind of to work on my alignment on my wrist and also my shoulder endurance which actually is having quite a nice carryover to the free handstand push-up right now once again a part of my handstand training that I definitely skipped initially but now I'm definitely realizing the importance of a nice solid foundation and I feel like definitely now I'm getting a lot more comfortable being upside down and really keeping my body nice and aligned when I'm actually trying to go for my freestanding handstand holds. And that is pretty much all the skill work. Now let's go into the main reps and sets part of today's workout. Starting off with some one arm pull up training. This pretty much always goes first in my pull workout because it actually is the main goal of my current pull training. The exercise that I'm currently doing to train for one arm pull up is going to be the band assisted one arm pull up that I've actually made quite a lot of videos about a couple of months back and I'm actually quite a fan of this exercise. And with this, I'm pretty much going to be working with some top sets and some back of this. I'm going to start off with one top set where I'm actually going to do the hard progression that I can possibly do, aka grab the band as low as I can possibly go right now. This usually ends up being a single or a double, and when I can do two reps on one progression, I tend to go for a hard progression, aka grab the band a little bit lower, but I've also made a couple of videos about that in the last couple of months. And then after the top set, I'm going to be doing three more back offsets on an easier progression. These sets are going to be doubles or triples, once again going quite low reps, once again really focused on building up my strength on this exercise, but on these back offsets, I'm really focused focused on keeping the rep pace as high as possible to really recruit those fast twitch muscle fibers whilst keeping the form as solid as it can possibly be. I'm actually experimenting with some half reps on this training block aka not going much higher than 90 degrees flexion in the elbow. I've actually talked about this in a previous video a couple of months back. The reason for doing this is that first and foremost it pretty much reduces the stress on the elbow on the top part of the movement and secondly because when I'm actually going higher I actually tend to twist through which pretty much messes up my entire form and on my last back offset I like to do a little variation slash drop sets. I will always go for 
my left arm first and then my right arm simply because my left arm is a little weaker but then on the last set I like to just do left right and then going back to my left arm and then back to my right arm after I've actually done the other arm in between them to really squeeze out one more rep and I definitely find it's quite a good way to actually break through plateaus on this exercise because it pretty much teaches you to get one more rep out even if you are completely fried and if you are quite dead and that has helped me over the last couple of months to break through some of the plateaus that I've actually been having on this exercise and then after the one on pull up training now let's go into some weighted pull ups on this exercise I'm also going to be working with some top sets and some back offsets. First of all, the top set, I'm going to do a triple. This is going to be my top set on my heavy day, on my medium day later this week. I'm actually going to go a little bit higher in rips on my top set. But once again, today is going to be a heavy day, hence why I'm only going to do a triple. And then after the top set, I'm going to be going for some back offsets. Pretty much going to be doing some sets of six to eight reps to pretty much get more volume in and to really work on a very, very fast rep pace to really recruit as much of the fast twitch muscle fibers as possible and to also build a little bit of muscle mass because as you guys know 6 to 8 reps actually is getting quite close to the hypertrophic rep range the goal with this exercise is to pretty much progress week to week on my top set adding in about two and a half kilograms on a week to week basis and then on the back off sets to pretty much keep the rep pace as high as possible and to pretty much then progress whenever i reach the top of my rep range aka whenever i reach about eight reps on a set that is when i'm going to be bumping up the weight about two and a half kilograms once again to get back down to six reps and then pretty much repeat over and over and over again to get stronger and stronger and stronger on this exercise. So on this exercise, I'm pretty much going to be doing a mixture of some strength and some hypertrophy training. And I'm actually really, really enjoying this. For one, because I'm actually going quite heavy on these. And then secondly, because it gives me an absolutely amazing pump in my back and my biceps. And also because the carryover to my one-on pull-up training actually is quite significant. And I look forward to doing this literally every single week. Hence why, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see quite a lot of videos about weighted pull-ups. And then to finish off today's workout, we're going to be doing one more exercise, aka the explosive pull-up. We're going to be doing two sets of maximum reps to really activate those fast twitch muscle fibers one more time to absolutely rinse it. And much as we possibly can and why it was a pull-ups and not normal pull-ups well basically because normal pull-ups right now are a little bit too easy for me and i once again really want to focus on fast rep pace and really activate those fast twitch muscle fibers hence why i'm doing the explosive pull-up to really finish off today's workout and that is going to be my full heavy pull workout a total of about 10 sets if it comes to my rest times i'm going to be doing about four to five minutes before my top sets and then about three minutes in between my back off sets because i want to be fully recovered for the top sets and on the back off sets rest time is still quite long because I'm really focused on my fast rep pace and pretty much getting stronger on the exercise hence why the rest periods are a little bit longer and then after the workout like every single other workout I'm going to be doing a little bit of stretching but I'm going to make a full video on this after the entire series so stay tuned for that video but for now let's end this video right here right now so as always like and subscribe if you guys haven't already if you guys have any more video ideas advice or questions leave them below in the comment section Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video on Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Three videos a week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Laters.